Okay, so my background is all dry and we are ready to paint our bear. Um, the brown that I'm going to be using is Burnt Umber. Mine is by Winsor & Newton, um, but any brown that you have will be perfect. And I my paint has dried a little here, so I'm going to go ahead and get myself a nice watery supply of paint. And we're going to start on his body and we're kind of thinking about where our light is going to be. So we don't really have any like a moon or something in the sky. So probably what I'm going to do is just keep the top half of him lighter. Um, just pretending that maybe the light is coming from above and shining down this way. So the areas under his chin and near the bottom of his body here will be just a tad bit darker than um, his back and the top of his head. So I'm going to, in the body, I'm actually not going to wet first. I'm just going in with watery paint and almost just like coloring in the lines basically is what I'm doing. Um, I'm not worried about um, giving any shadow right now. We're going to do a technique a little later to give him a little more depth and shadow. Um, and do remember to leave these edges down here jagged for your grass. And like I said, I'm just going to paint in his entire body area here. These um, areas in between the different sections, so I just painted the back leg and I'm painting around his head. When you get to the area where this leg meets that back leg, I'm going to be leaving a little white space in between those two sections. Um, I don't want the the front to merge with the back. So for now we're going to leave a little white section there to kind of show the the difference between the front leg and the back. And I'm also leaving some jagged areas um, around his head as if there were fur there. So kind of like you're doing your grass area here, you can do the same thing for his head. And you kind of have to work um, a little quick you don't want the areas to start drying on you before you get the whole bear painted. So don't have to rush, but just be a little quick about it. This um, brown paint actually does dry really quick. So painting with haste. And I'll also leave a little white line between the two front legs as well. And there we have it. So now I just have to let this dry and then we can work on painting the head um, and then we'll worry about giving him some depth and dimension and shadows and light. Okay, so my bear's body has dried and if you've got, I've got some areas here that are kind of like a bloom where one area had started to dry and then the wet paint kind of pushed on another area. Um, so that is really uh, one of the natures of burnt umber because it dries so quickly and these are the kind of things that you kind of get to know as you really start to use different colors. Um, so it's nothing to worry about, it's just part of the nature of watercolor. So if you have some blooms in yours, don't worry about it, it's completely normal and it'll all look fabulous in the end. <laughs> so. <clears throat> so we're going to do the same thing to the bear's head. So I'm getting a nice supply of wet paint and trying to go about the same um, tone. So try to keep the color consistent. Um, look at your water content 
and we are going to put a second layer on so if it's don't worry about perfection just try to get it close so for this um, I'm gonna go I'm gonna start down at the bottom kind of where it would be a little darker more shadowy down here and once again trying to work as quick as I can um, so I'm not rushing but I definitely want to not take too much time just given the nature of this color that it dries so quickly but definitely taking enough time to make sure that I am careful around all these little edges so once I get the kind of darker tone in in the bottom of his face when I get about to the eyes I'm taking just a tiny little bit of water on my brush I don't want too much and I'm going to pull that color up so kind of fading it out as I come up to the top where it's going to be much lighter and you may need to grab a, a little bit more you definitely don't want too much on your brush because it will bloom on you um, which is not the end of the world, but try to avoid it if you can. And you can see how much lighter now the top of the head is. And there we go, we've got his cute little head painted. So once again, we have to let this area dry before we can paint some color on the ears. Okay, head is dry, so now I'm going to do the same process just to the ears to put some color here. And you can paint over the whole entire ear. We're going to come back, of course, and add some shadow to this, but for right now we just want to give the first layer of color. And you may want to switch down to a smaller brush as well, since this is a little bit of a smaller space. And there we go. So we've got our whole first layer of color in, and now we'll start adding some shadow and depth. 